EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marcher here with your outlook for the weekend, September 21st and 22nd, 2019. This is the final official weekend of the summer of 2019, and it will be feeling like every bit of it as high pressure sets off the uh, eastern seaboard is going to be here on Saturday and is going to slip eastward on Sunday just a little bit and get a little bit stronger. Uh, but return flow around this high pressure is going to bring winds out of the uh, southwest or west-southwest today and then southwesterly on Sunday. And then uh, we have no chance for precipitation, mostly sunny skies both days, but very warm and summer-like as we're going to have temperatures uh, both days in the mid to upper 80s. Might even make a run at 90 degrees some here down, somewhere down here by Philadelphia so interior southern jersey northern delaware places like that so i would not be surprised to see that happen in a few locations but uh, be more likely to happen on sunday or monday if that uh, does in fact occur and then moving ahead to sunday you can see this high is now further east and more well established out here uh, in the atlantic so that return flow around high pressure at this point is southwesterly we're gonna have temperatures uh, generally in the mid to upper 80s here on sunday as well mid 80s today mid to upper 80s on Sunday for highs and that uh, same temperature regime is going to be in place here for Monday. There is a cold front moving in from the west and here's the low pressure driving it up here. Uh, your cold front sitting back here like this. A uh, little bit of precipitation, very little. As you see these really light grays here are not indicating much in the way of precipitation as it moves eastward. But there will be an opportunity late in the day for an isolated shower. And you can see that here uh, mainly for the far interior areas because as that moves eastward you really don't see too much after that point. Just an isolated or stray shower across the majority of our coverage area. Uh, this down here to the southeast, this is Jerry. And it's another hurricane that's in the uh, Atlantic right now that's expected to also miss the United States. This will take uh, come up here and uh, do one of these numbers here like this and head out to sea and not affect the U.S. eastern seaboard. And it's going to be picked up as trough uh, that's moving uh, through here on Monday night. So uh, that should be out of our area, not even come close to the U.S. mainland. And then after that point, we're back to mostly sunny skies here on Tuesday. Temperatures are going to take a step back a little bit. There is a little upper level trough. I'll show you that here in a minute that is uh, moving down in this direction. That will come through on Tuesday and Wednesday. So our temperatures on Tuesday and Wednesday will be back down to uh, near to slightly above average. Not really. Uh, it's still a couple degrees above average uh, for those days, but it will be certainly cooler than we were going to have uh, in the Saturday through Monday time frame. But after that, uh, we're mostly sunny here on Tuesday and Wednesday. There's another front that's going to come at us on Thursday. Right now, it's expected to fall apart before it gets here. So again, no precipitation. I know people are asking for uh, when's it going to rain. Don't really have an answer for you because it doesn't look like we're going to get into any rain until we get into the second week of October as far as appreciable rain. And even then, it's still kind of up in the air as you're talking about a time period that is outside of a verifiable range. So if you're going to have a chance for that and getting back to near average precipitation or maybe a little bit more rain that... Uh, you can count on for growing and uh, things like that, plants, trees, grass, that kind of thing. Uh, that's not going to come for a while. looks like this majority of the, uh, at least the next seven days is dry, but it does look like beyond that is also. And then Friday behind that front, we are uh, back to mostly sunny skies again with high pressure sitting over top of the region. As far as temperatures are concerned, again, here is the, this is looking at 500 millibar heights. This is where everything dr is driven in the atmosphere. And uh, this upper level ridge is going to be in place this weekend, brings us that warm, these warm temperatures. And then here's Tuesday and Wednesday, quick little upper level trough. That's it right here over the uh, southeastern Quebec province, or actually this is Ontario, southeastern uh, Ontario province. And then it's moving across the northern Great Lakes and New England. And uh, that is going to be on Tuesday and Wednesday. Quick out of here. But as soon as that leaves, look what happens. Another ridge builds in and we get very warm as we close out the month of September. And also for the majority of the first week of October, looks like is going to be very warm with some very high heights here, indicating some uh, some pretty good warmth going into that period as well. So uh, we're by far not done with the 80s and well into the 80s because I think you're going to have that again uh, once we get into uh, the late part of next week, next weekend, and uh, going to the following week, we're going to have some very warm temperatures to contend with there too. So I know we, uh, some of you have expressed a lot of, uh, I don't want to say gratitude, but you're very happy that we had some very crisp fall mornings over the last couple of days. Uh, that is not going to happen for the foreseeable future, at least not in our 
uh, next couple weeks here, it looks like temperatures are going to be uh, a little bit milder, and then during the in the mornings, and then in, in the overnight period, and then during the day, obviously very warm, with the exception being that quick transient cool shot that's going to come in here on uh, Tuesday and Wednesday, but even there, you're still slightly above average. I'm EPA WA meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for the weekend, September 21st and 22nd, 2019. Have a great Saturday and Sunday.